Hello, this is Anthony and Dua, our Fanboy Factor and the Comic Surfer, and I'm with Declan Shelby, and I'm here to talk about his work on Time Before Time. So, since the first issue, and we're heading towards the penultimate issues, especially since the series ends in issue 29, of course, right? So, what's it been like having to build this time travel story from the ground up from the first issue, seeing Tetsuo's journey, along with uh, Kevin and the other characters? Uh, to currents and the challenges with working on stories that dabble with time travel. Uh, well, um, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> oh, sorry, it's okay. Um, the challenges of making a science fiction story such as this that you're doing, uh, writing stories centered on time travel and keeping track of time travel and focusing more so on the human element more than the sci-fi element. Yeah, I mean, that was always, I think, our approach. I mean, I've read Rory's stuff the last couple of years. I know Rory since he was coming up, and uh, Rory did my stuff, I imagine. Um, and we want to go with the sci-fi concept, but the, the more we worked on it, the more we realized it was more of a crime story, with kind of like science fiction dressings. Right? Mm -hmm. you know? and so, like, I think the sci-fi stuff is kind of the hook to push people in, but really what you yeah, the, the goal is that the characters are what take you through, so whether it's in 2489 or 23, whatever it is, the, we want the time to be the, the, the location, mm -hmm. and the, the through the through line of the characters and their, their 